Hey, what's good guys, it's Zach. Hope you all are doing well. So I've been getting a lot of requests to do an ADW Launcher 2 review, and uh, I actually featured this application in January's best Android apps, um, but here we are finally with this review. I'm just gonna share it with you guys and uh, let you know what I think of it, and we'll see how well it stacks up to the rest of the competition out there. All right, so here I have it running on my Huawei Mate 9, as you can see, it's very, very fast, it's very smooth, buttery smooth, I really do like that, and uh, it just looks great. Now, what I'm gonna do here, um, by Mate 9, I'm actually gonna show you guys on my uh, S7 Edge here, not only because it looks really nice, but also because I just installed it here, and I can show you guys the full setup. All right, so here we have the welcome screen, and this is where we're gonna be able to choose a theme to start out with, so you can get the look of uh, Android Nougat if you wanted, uh, Android Marshmallow, as you can see, it changes the, uh, the search bar, and the docs, and all that stuff throughout, the different themes here and you can even go all the way back to gingerbread if you see the folder down there it looks just like gingerbread so we're gonna go ahead and go with the Android nougat look and we do have a little disclaimer there but after that we're tossed right into the home screen with a little tutorial going on here basically showing us what we can do here on the home screen uh, so this is what we have going on here yes I do have a black wallpaper here on my s7 edge a lot of people are like oh you have a 2k res display yet you're using a black uh, wallpaper and I say well if you're taking a look at this right now and you're still confused as to why you would want a black wallpaper on an AMOLED screen I don't even know what to say anymore this just looks hot all right so I'm gonna go ahead and long press on the home screen and here we have all of our options so we have wallpapers widgets you can lock the desktop if you want we have themes you got gestures you got a shortcut to your system settings and you have ADW settings down there at the bottom up top you can also manage your home screens as well so you can add and take them away if you wanted to you can rearrange them and set a specific one to be your main home screen which is nice but for the video's purpose I'm gonna go ahead and change my wallpaper let's go ahead and try one that I haven't done before let's go ahead and do this one all right I kind of like that all right so we're gonna go ahead and check out the widgets here and uh, this is what it looks like when you want to set up your widgets and it kind of gives you a little tutorial just in case you forgot how to do this but uh, basically you just have everything grouped up so if you wanted a super widget for example let's go ahead and go to super widget go ahead and tap on that and it brings up all of the different super widgets that you can get uh, all the different grid sizes and whatnot so let's go ahead and try three by one just for example and uh, go ahead and allow it to create widgets and there we go. So there we go, adding widgets is as simple as ever. Now, if you don't want a long press to get to your settings, you can also do a quick swipe up. This is the default action for that gesture, but of course you can change that in the gestures area. Now taking a look at the themes area, this is pretty much what we've got at the welcome screen here. So you can choose from a bunch of different themes. You can even get more on the Google Play Store. But over here, we can actually check out a whole bunch of different UI colors. So if you wanted your folders and your app drawer to be dark, then you can do that. Light colors as well, there's standard colors. And then there's also wallpaper colors. So you can have different elements of your launcher uh, change color based off of the colors of your wallpaper that you set so that's pretty cool I do like that it's actually pretty similar to what you find in action launcher 3 all right so now we're gonna go ahead and check out the gestures area and I really like how this looks by the way they put this together very nicely but we do have our basic set of gestures here and you can even add new ones if you'd like but these are the ones that you can get by default so if you wanted to uh, for example let's see uh, pinch in then you can uh, set that to open an application if you wanted to you could uh, set it to open up a settings application or shortcut rather and uh, you can uh, set it to just launch a whole new thing like weather or recent applications or something like that so that's pretty cool it's very very basic but uh, very useful at the same time of course you do have your shortcut to system settings and we have ADW settings which is pretty much where you're going to want to spend most of your time so let's go ahead and take a look at desktop configuration now this is where you can choose like the screen grid size and stuff like like that I know a lot of you guys like to change the grid size of your home screen so there's that you can scroll down you can scale your screen size if you wanted to make things look smaller or bigger you also have padding mainly for widgets swapping over here we do have dimension settings for when it's in portrait or landscape orientation we have settings for the top panel the bottom panel we have home screen indicator settings and then we do have transition settings and these are pretty cool as well so if you wanted fly in we could do that or tumble or something like that curve there are a lot of them to choose from and I do like the selection that they have have uh, so these are pretty cool but I usually just keep it on normal and then next up we have icon appearance this is pretty fun as well so you can change your icon pack I love the Delta icon pack so I'm gonna go ahead and change it to that down below that we do have the shortcut indicator enabled by default but of course you can take that away if you want you can change the icon dimensions as you can see this does get pretty in-depth so you can change pretty much everything 
as I'm getting notifications on my phone, you can pretty much change everything about the launcher here in the icon settings is really cool. So you can go ahead and uh, change the label if you want. You can even hide the labels, which of course, as you guys know, I really like to do. And we also have the notification badges, but you will have to install the ADW notifier in order to get that to work. And then next up, we have the folder appearance, which is pretty cool as well. You can change the background color if you want. You can also change what it'll look like when it's just sitting there on your home screen. As you can see the little preview up there in the upper left hand corner. So you can really make it look the way you want it to. And as you can see, the cards preview actually looks pretty cool. I don't think I've seen that just yet, but it looks really cool. And you can also change the background color, as I said before, the folder grid. So if you wanted to fit more applications in there, you can do that, which is nice. And then uh, you also have the text if you wanted to hide or enable that. Then you also have transitions. If you have pages in your folder, then you can uh, enable these to make it look even cooler. All right, so this here is pretty cool. I went ahead and tapped on a folder for the first time and it says you can wrap the folder. Now this here is pretty cool. A lot of you have been wondering how I do this with Nova Launcher. And basically with wrap folder, you can disguise the folder as a regular icon. So instead of showing a whole bunch of applications uh, in a folder icon, you can actually just set it to an actual icon. So that's pretty cool. So if I wanted to do this, for example, I can disguise it as Google Maps. So if I were to tap on Google Maps, it would go ahead and open it. But if I swipe up on it, it'll open up my folder. So that's pretty cool to have that in the folder by default and to not have to go into the actual launcher settings to do that. And then next up we have the app drawer and I really love this section here. You can really make it your own, which is really nice. What I really like about this is that you have the previews here as you do with the rest of the settings, uh, but it's really fun here so you can see what it'll look like with the card page background. Uh, of course, you can change your transition animations. You can change the background colors. You've got general over here. So uh, you can change the grid size and all that good stuff. You can change the uh, open and close animation, which is nice. And then of course you have the text settings as always. But since we're on the topic of the app drawer, we're gonna go ahead and take a quick look in the app drawer. As you can see by default, you can swipe up from the bottom to open it up, very similar to what you get on stock Nougat. What you can do over here is really cool. Actually, it's gonna tell you what you can do with it. You've got categories. So uh, it's very similar to Nova Launcher's uh, pages. If you guys are familiar with that, if I were to swipe over here, I can add a page. Uh, for example, and add different applications. So if I wanted to add these applications, for example, then I can I can go ahead and do that. Uh, what I would really like to do is to be able to s quickly switch in between them. This is cool and all, being able to swipe in, but if I could swipe this way and get to the pages like I can do in Nova Launcher, that would be nice. Also, if I could get uh, folders to be enabled in the app drawer, that would be awesome as well. But uh, that, that could be in a future update, who knows? And then of course you can rearrange them uh, if you'd like to do that and then you have different settings. You can get rid of them or you can add more applications to them. So that's really cool as well. All right, so next we have the template manager. I actually neglected to check out what exactly this was before. Uh, so my fault, but uh, tapping on this add button, I believe we go, yeah, we go to the Play Store and then you can get different extensions like this one here, the ADW extension pack, which is pretty cool. You can just get a whole bunch of different widgets and all that cool stuff, uh, stuff to make your life easier on mobile. And then last but not least, we have advanced settings. And this is pretty much what you'd expect, just the general settings in here. You can set it as your default launcher if it isn't already. And then we have additional UI settings like general, just a whole bunch of other things that you can do in here. It would take me quite a while to go through each and every one of them, but uh, just pretty basic stuff here. If you guys are familiar with launchers, you'll feel right at home here. Uh, that's pretty much it for ADW Launcher 2. I hope you guys try this out. It's actually a very, very good launcher, and I definitely recommend it to you guys. So that does it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to hit that like button. Let me know what you guys think of ADW Launcher. Can it replace Action Launcher 3 or Nova Launcher for you guys? Uh, let me know in the comments. I'll definitely be reading those. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I would greatly appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys in the next video, and thanks for watching. Thank you.